Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Immersive Engineering Tutorial Series. As you can see, there's no crafting tables in front of me. That's because today we're talking about the big daddy of them all. The big machine. The excavator. This is definitely the big mining machine of Immersive Engineering. It's gonna be awesome. And so we're gonna, it's the one of the only multi-blocks I've ever seen that has two distinct parts to it. And we're gonna see how to build them both, and then we're gonna build it, put it together, get it, make it real, and then run it. <laughs> so over here I've got the three uh, levels of the uh, the main part of the excavator, um, which is the engine. Um, it's built like this. The tools you're gonna need, the blocks you're gonna need, you're gonna need uh, steel scaffolding, blocks of steel, light engineering blocks, and heavy engineering blocks. And if we go in here, and we go back, we can see that what you're gonna need is 12 blocks of steel, nine light engineering blocks, 13 heavy engineering blocks, and three steel scaffolding. Okay, let's build it. So the way this works is that the first layer, it, this thing is six blocks by three blocks, as you can see, and it's got a uh, empty space uh, in the middle, okay? So you will lay down three heavy engineering blocks, then a block of steel, and then a light engineering block, then two blocks of steel, this is where you're turning directions, two blocks of steel heading down, and then two heavy engineering blocks uh, going left, a uh, steel block, another heavy engineering block, a light engineering block, and then a, another heavy engineering block. And then going over here, on the second layer, you're going to have three heavy engineering blocks, followed by a block of steel, followed by a light engineering block, another block of steel, Coming down, you'll have a heavy engineering block and a light engineering block. And heading to the left, you'll have two blocks of steel and three light engineering blocks. Okay. On the very top layer, you're going to have three steel scaffoldings, a steel block, a light engineering block, another steel block, and then coming down, you'll have another steel block and then a heavy engineering block. Going left, you'll have another heavy engineering block, a block of steel. You'll skip a space and you'll place a light engineering block, and that is it. Three layers, and there's two blocks missing on the top layer. All right? Now, that's the engine part. You're also going to need this. This is the actual bucket wheel. Pretty easy to build, if you look. You'll just place a block on the bottom, a block of steel. Then you'll place three steel scaffoldings, capped off on either end by a block of steel. And then on top of that, you'll lay five st uh, steel scaffolding. On top of that, place a block of steel in the middle, and then two steel scaffolding on each side, and then a block of steel sticking out on each end. On top of that, you'll have five more steel scaffolding. On top of that, you'll have three steel scaffolding and two blocks of steel, one on each end, and top it all off with a block of steel. Okay? Now, we're going to come over here to where we discovered our actual mineral deposit, and we're going to build it. Okay? Now, because of how you have to place the bucket wheel, you are going to want to lift the engine up off the ground. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to use these steel fences. Hopefully it'll still, it should still craft the, the thing for me. Um, you're going to need to lift the engine up because the, the engine does not sit on the ground level unless you dig a hole in it. Okay, so you can very easily, if you, if you want to build this on ground level, you'll need to dig a two block hole uh, underneath. I'm just going to lift it up so we can still see the whole thing. So that was uh, three heavy engineering blocks. Um, okay, yep. Yeah. Followed by a block of steel, light engineering block, two more blocks of steel, and then two heavy engineering blocks, block of steel, and then heavy, light, heavy. And we're going over this twice just so that you definitely know how to how to how to build this thing. Need to make sure everyone knows how because it can be a little bit tricky. Okay. Light. Uh, heavy light. And then on top. Like that. Get one of those there. And then, yep, gotcha. This, that, that, that. Light and two heavies. Okay, 
Now, from what I understand, you want to build this thing first. So whack it with the engineer's hammer on the back and actually make the engine thing. Okay. I believe this is what you have to do. This is the best way to do it. Now we're going to place and, and build out our, um, our, our wheel. So, yep. Yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna build mine out from the the center. I suppose you could also build the wheel first, but I I'm pretty sure people say that this is the better way to do it. All right, go underneath and. Two, three, steel, 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 and give that a whack. Oh, wait a second. Okay, you need to whack the middle of it. So you are going to have to break off one of these. So build the wheel first is probably the best idea, building the bucket wheel first. Then right-click it with the hammer, okay? And then build the engine around it. Place that. Whack it at the back. Boom. Excavator. Look how awesome that looks. I love it. It looks so cool. What? That was weird. Interesting. At certain angles, it disappears. Strange. Okay, so this is the IE Excavator. Remember, it has to be built in a chunk where you found uh, minerals. Okay. Now, the way it works is that um, power input is back here. You can see there's three plugs. Okay. This requires 4,096 RF per tick, so it requires the entire output of a biodiesel generator. So uh, you can use one biodiesel generator to power this, and these are the power plugs right here. Okay, so you could either use one high voltage wire connector, okay, or you could use three mediums, or or is it whatever. You have up to three connections for power. All right, you can wire those into the three connections that that the uh, bio uh, diesel generator has the diesel generator okay that's how that works at the back here you have both the um, spot for a lever or other redstone uh, input in order to turn it off and on okay so this is the on state and then this is the machines off and this is the output this is where all of the um, items actually come out of okay so for demonstration purposes come on we are going to grab a little bit of conveyor belt and then a chest. Roads nowhere. And we will hold shift so that we can place a couple of conveyor belts coming this way, and then we'll place a chest at the end. I'm pretty sure that works. Uh, and then we'll plug it uh, power into it. And we'll fire it up and see what happens. So let's turn that off. Um, plug this in. So the way I'm going to plug this in is um, I'm, I'm really just going to slap some... Um, if I slap down an HV capacitor while holding shift... Okay, it doesn't matter. You just place it like that. Now if I take this and hold shift and right click, it should make that an, in, an input. I got to shift and right click uh, twice. Okay. So we're going to place some HV capacitors here. And I'm going to hold um, shift. And I'm holding space at the same time so I don't move. Right click it twice. And that will make those sides outputs. Okay, now we can fire it up. And you can see the excavator will slowly turn and actually have sand in the buckets. And it actually dumps that sand into the little hopper. It's so fantastic. So it will cut, it will dig hole a hole underneath it okay and it looks like it slowly picks up speed it looks like it's going a little faster I'm not really sure uh, it's got a lot it's getting a lot of power right now so although it's almost it's draining this one really quickly yeah and there, there we go there we go we're starting to get ores okay we're getting the lead ore and the silver ore, because remember, this was a uh, Galena vein, I believe. Lead and silver. 
There you go. And there's a little bit of gold. I think that's gold. Is that? No, that's sulfur, isn't it? That's sulfur. Yeah, lead, silver, and sulfur. There we go. We have an excavator. I do wish it had uh, sound effects. That would be awesome. But look at it. It's so cool. Now this does take a lot of power. Remember, it has interior storage for 64,000 RF, but it does take 4,096 RF per tick. That is a lot of power. But as you can see, it does run pretty quick. It's producing a lot of ores. We've already drained one high voltage capacitor. <laughs> capacitor after only a few moments though so just remember the entire output of a biodiesel uh, of a diesel generator is, is what this is going to take 4096 RF per tick it's not uh, it's not a cheap machine and it takes a lot of power but this will run generating these resources for up to 144 consecutive days non-stop running. That's right, 144 days. I think that's Minecraft days. <laughs> 144 days. Now, over time, it will slow down, okay? The longer this mines, eventually the output will start to slow, but it will mine for 144 days before stopping. So eventually it will mine out all of the minerals in this vein. But that's going to be a lot of resources, and I think it just ran out of power. Yes, it did. So as you can see, we have already just drained three high-voltage capacitors. So you are going to need a dedicated power source for this. You really are. You're going to need to put, you know, 4096 RF per tick. There's no slouch for this one machine. So there we go. That's the excavator. It is the creme de la creme, the big daddy of mining machines. It's the one of the you know, coolest multi-blocks uh, ever. It just looks so cool. Two multi-blocks being put together to make one multi-block. That's awesome. I love how the bucket actually rotates and uh, has resources in it. So, as you're walking past your excavator, all you have to do is look at the buckets to see what kind of resources it's pulling out. So, that's the excavator. It's awesome. Um, and that's all I got. So, stay tuned for future episodes in our immersive engineering uh, tutorial series. Now that we've uh, covered how to find minerals and how to use the excavator to pick them up, we're, next thing we're going to talk about is a new, uh, another way to smelt them using power. We're going to talk about the arc furnace. So stay tuned for that. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.